If you've been online looking up data science or AI or data engineering, you'll have come across DataCamp. Now, DataCamp is a learning platform where you pay one subscription a month and you can access thousands of hours of learning material on AI and on data. Now, they used to be only for data analysts and data scientists, but now data engineers, AI engineers, AI developers, everything is on there. They are the most forward thinking platform that you can learn on in 2025. So let's have a quick look at the website. We're going to have our full in-depth review, specifically gearing this towards Python and specifically data engineering. But we'll be looking at the whole platform as a whole. So if you're interested in learning about data and AI, watch the whole video and we'll be getting into certifications at the end as well. So how you can actually get a job using this. First of all, this is DataCamp, Learn Data and AI Skills. Now, if we head on over here, we can see on the platform the different technologies that you can learn here. Python, SQL, ChatGPT, Excel, Docker, Databricks, Snowflake, Azure, Git, everything. If it's worth learning and data and AI, it will be on here. Now, if we head on over to DataCamp, we can see we can actually start completely for free. So you get the first section of every course completely free. Now, what can you learn? Python, R, SQL, ChatGPT, Excel, Databricks, Snowflake, so every technology and data and AI you can learn. And now this is across every industry as well, from healthcare to finance, technology, energy, and even government. There's a path here for every goal. So they have top courses, AI, different career tracks, as well as different skill tracks. So if you have a specific job in mind, you can go to career tracks. We can look at, as I was saying, data engineering Python, but you can also look at like machine learning engineer or data scientist, data analyst, whatever it may be. Or if you're more interested in just the pure skills, you can do Python data fundamentals, AI fundamentals, SQL fundamentals, even AWS cloud practitioner. So you can learn all about the cloud as well. So some of the main courses I wanted to highlight today are different. First, we have Python data fundamentals. Data fundamentals is all about understanding data fundamentals within the scope of Python. So what is Python? How do you use it? You're even creating real courses here, real data manipulation, etc. visualization, all within this single course, which at the end, you can then earn a statement of accomplishment that you can share on your CV, on LinkedIn, wherever it may be. Or if you want the certification, we'll get to that later. In addition to Python fundamentals for data, we have Python programming fundamentals. So similar type of thing, but this time it's understanding the Python language, which is what you leverage to then learn and implement the data and the other one. And in here, it's more about Python for developers. So it's about different modules, etc toolbox, data types, that different stuff. And for here, again, more projects that you can have in your portfolio and a statement of accomplishment. Now, if you want to go more career focused, so like I was saying, the career tracks, we have data analyst in Python. We also have data engineer in Python, which is a super cool one. We have here a certification available as well. Now, for this one specifically, which is really I think it's amazing. They have cloud computing, so understanding cloud computing first, then Python for developers, intermediate Python, then starting to get into a bit of data manipulation and stuff, and working with APIs. Then they teach you a new project, so they show you how to create this project for your portfolio, and then how to make it more efficient, how to streamline it using more tools, so like Pandas, then Git version control as well as more software engineering principles, performing code reviews to get you really ready for the real world, actual pipelines, and even airflow. And then you can create these real um, different projects for your portfolio at the end to kind of reinforce those skills that you learn. So in this single course, right, this single course you're getting for like the price of a family Netflix, right? But you're learning cloud, you're learning Python, you're learning data, API, so software engineering, actually version control for that as well. And then data engineering and Airflow, which is, you know, everybody wants to know about Airflow these days. So before I go over and show you these different courses, which just for reference, they don't even only show you videos like loads of these other platforms do. For these platforms, if you see here, this play button means video, this means a quiz, and this means coding. So coding in the actual browser, which we'll show you later on. But essentially, it allows you to actually learn how to do this without having to do it on your own computer your computer is no longer a bottleneck. How you actually use and download Python and version control and all this mess which takes hours, 
you don't have to do that anymore you can just head on straight over to the account and use it there so just before we go there a couple of little shout outs to other cool tracks that i think are worth your time associate python developer is always good to have python data associate certification it's cool if you want to be a data analyst data analyst certification of course and then the data engineer certification as well which is a certification which shows that you know what you're talking about within SQL and within Python. Employers love this kind of stuff. So it's actually an industry recognized certification as well. And as you can see it here, it says enhances your professional credibility, expands your career opportunities and keeps you ahead of industry trends. And you even get a little certificate as well and a badge you can add to LinkedIn because obviously that's where everybody goes for jobs these days. And don't just take their word for it, there are actual people who are inside the community. So when you get certified, you can join the certified community for DataCamp. And these are real people who have gotten promotions or changed job through DataCamp. Now, how does this work? Basically, you learn, which is what I had just shown you, Python for Data engineers here then we test your knowledge so you get up to two hours to complete an actual like exam you then get instant feedback so it's not like you know these cloud providers and stuff where you can have to wait weeks for grading you just get it instantly there whether you passed or failed and boom you then get your certification if you've passed now we have a couple of different levels so we have data engineer associate but we also have data engineer. So data engineer associate is essentially, do you understand SQL and fundamentals about data? And you have a timed exam and then a practical exam. So different questions and then actual project that you have to kind of do. This is more about, do you understand SQL and Python? And do you understand data on a deeper level? So have your first exam, which is this tools one, that's the associate one. Um, we have another timed exam this is for the data engineer, and then you have a practical exam as well. So I've been talking loads about this data engineering Python. Let's head on in and actually see what it looks like once you are a member. So if we head on in here, this is the home screen that you can see. It can look a little bit busy at first because you don't know what you're looking at, but once you know, you understand why it's all here. So if we start from the top to the bottom, essentially up the top here, we have home, which is this. We have learn, which is for, for learning certifications where you can go and look more at the certification side of things sandbox which is where you can go and practice your learnings then for business and then data lab now data lab is pretty cool because what data lab here just clicked into essentially is as you can see that it's like a workbook station so like a databricks workbook or a python jupyter notebook stuff that kind of thing it's all in here inside of data camp so you don't have to you know go and spin up stuff elsewhere everything can be contained in your browser on data camp which is super cool so from here on the learn side of things here you can see what i'm enrolled in currently which was the associate ai engineer for developers but also the data engineer one as well, which is this course here. Then there's me, the daily streak. So how many days in a row you're doing it? Total XP. So you get XP when you answer a question right, but then you can use that XP to get hints at other answers. So if you're like, I don't know what the answer is, you can get a hint or you can get the whole answer with your XP, which is pretty cool. Um, your leaderboard, apparently I've been demoted because <laughs> obviously not using my data camp enough. Um, and then your data lab here, other tracks, even podcasts, your sandbox, so this for cloud as well as for ChatGPT, etc. Certifications. You can even do this on your mobile. So once you've got data camp, get it on your mobile, daily five minute coding challenges, keep up to date. Even though AI is going to be taking everybody's jobs, apparently, I still think software engineering, data engineering, especially data engineering now, AI, AI engineers, anything that is like a data and AI job, maybe your job will change, but your job is going to be probably more important than ever before. Anyway, this is the learning here. You can see that I've done a few different courses on this specific account. Now on here, I've done Python for developers, fast API, open API. This one here, this course is the engineering course, which we'll go to in a moment. But first, let me talk you through what we're looking at here. So we have me, we have keep making progress or so continue. You can actually learn here. So this is the courses or you can practice. So you can practice what you've been learning or you can apply it with a project all from here. And we'll go and check them out shortly. Now on the left hand side here, we have my library, leaderboards. We also have tracks, so career and skill tracks. That's what I was talking about before. If we go into career tracks, you can see all the different jobs here. So data analyst, BI analyst, data engineer, data scientist, etc. Skills, we have 
these are more like the specific technologies as you can see here so click on these you can see more java fast api kubernetes ai whatever it may be and they're all here and there's little toggled uh color coded ways to actually see what you're looking at so do you have certifications available is it a fundamentals course or not etc which is super cool as well now we also have courses so courses are like little courses if you think about it tracks are made up normally of kind of like little courses and little practice segments as well but a course can be just like one specific thing so for example here you have like introduction to importing data so just importing data in python that's a course right you can get working with api apache airflow for example all this kind of stuff so a good way for you to get just enough of what you're after now just like that we also have tutorials now tutorials are cool because they're even shorter right so as you can see like 15 minutes 10 minutes etc and these are all little things which can be brand new so for example here google's vo3 brand new gemini cli brand new and these are ai agents and stuff so it's right at the bleeding edge of what people are currently learning right now and you can learn this all within data camp as well as doing the full track so it's not just for people who have a specific idea in mind if i want to be a data engineer you can also on the side you know learn about other things that people are doing as well so as i say data camp they're right at the cutting edge of what you should be learning in addition we have practice so you can actually go and practice what you're learning we even have um yeah assessments so you can see where you stand so you think you know about azure fundamentals for example or databricks whatever it may be click start you can do this little assessment and then at the end of it it will then tell you do you actually know what you're talking about or not because sometimes you forget stuff that's you know how it works additionally we have real world projects here so real world projects as you can see it's like portfolio projects you can then use and they're all like a kind of hour long and again they're right at the edge of what people are currently using additionally we have code alongs where you can kind of follow along with people who are creating things as well which is cool but if we go into one of the tracks so career tracks here up the top we'll go to data engineer and then we'll go to data engineer python here click on view details and from here we can see the track description and all the chapters so prerequisites ideally it's saying you should know associate data engineering and sql so you've got a fundamental idea of what you're doing because i think of python as like a level or above sql but in a way where it's like layered on top so for here understand cloud computing etc etc so if we open up one here introduction to python for developers we can take a test to see if we already know it but um, we're just going to go in and have a look you can see the different chapters which are inside this course click continue here if we go in here this is what you can now see so if we go to the top for course outline here we can see where we are in the course so 77 percent through working with data types if i go to the beginning we can see that it has a video now this is what i was talking about before with data camp that one of their major features is the fact that they have videos sure like everybody else but they also have ability to code inside the browser as well which is super cool and all under one subscription which as you can see i've been leveraging learning data engineering and ai engineering and software engineering all in this single platform so you can watch the video you can read the transcript you can even here download the video as well so you can watch it elsewhere or you can go straight onto your mobile phone to watch it which is fantastic so additionally if we go down here to the next one right we can see that this is what it looks like when you're actually coding inside of data camp so what we can see is the exercise here the instructions here so like what you have to do so this is the problem this is you know the instructions to try and get the solution we have the code here we have the shell here so this is your terminal where you can just like you know do stuff ah it's not going to work because it's a python shell but hey worth a try um, and from here as well you can actually see the slides from the lesson that you just watched before it so if you're like oh i think i've seen that you can come here you can scroll down and you can actually find what you're looking for which is pretty cool now as i'd said as well when you edit this code you can actually get a hint as to what the answer is so here first i'll click explain error but you can see you can click take hint so if we explain the error they have released this here where it's actually an ai assistant that is helping you out which is super cool so if we click take hint we'll see it will take away 30 xp and then it will actually give me a hint as to what to do now if that's still not enough i can get it to show me the answer 
and lose more XP, so I've lost 70 XP, but it's given me the answer. So from here, I can use AI Assistant to explain this, if I'm like, right, that's the answer, help me out, and then it's telling me actually how. I can also just get it to run the code, so click on run code here, and it will run it. And once you're done, you can actually give the solution, or enter the solution, but it just says run solution because I've taken, I've gotten it to give me the answer. But if you click run solution, then run the solution, it'll give you XP. We've gained none because I got it to give me the answer. But if it was actually me who provided the answer, I would get the XP. And it's as simple as that to use. And then once you're done, you can press enter or click continue and boom, you're on to the next one, which is amazing. And from here, something I think is super cool is top right here, you can continue learning on mobile. So if we click on this, we can go straight to here on your phone, which is brilliant. Additionally, we can click on this here to show the slides, click on this here to see the video. So if, again, if you were like, I kind of see the slides, but he said something, click on that there. Or if you like this here, you can actually take notes on it. So click on here and it'll open up a notebook like I was showing you in the data lab. And from here, you can then add in little, little code blocks and little bits of notes, which is super cool. And as you can see, powered by Data Lab. So it's a super cool platform. Honestly, it is the best platform online right now if you want to learn about data and AI. As I've shown you, they're always at the edge. So you can be learning data engineering in one minute, you can be learning MCP servers, etc. For example, of just how good they are, if we just go to resources and go to blog, because I always check out their blog, you see the trending stuff. Now, you can get help from like interview questions or whatever but also we can see here context engineering this literally just came out context engineering and they already have a blog on it which is actually pretty cool it's a good idea for a video but yeah they're at the bleeding edge of what you should be knowing to upskill whether that's to change career or whether that's to get a better job or a different job but anyway i hope you liked the video if you did like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next one take care